This is Mr. Nathan Moore practicing, getting ready for his uh, upcoming public debut as a magician. De debut or debut, or however you say that. He's huh? going to do a gospel magic trick here at Catahoula Baptist Church on Sunday, June the 21st, 1992. Church of Papa Moore. Zoom in here on the Mabu High Times. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to tear that thing to pieces. Or I'm not, Nathan is. And then he's going to put it back together just like a magician would do. This is before church when I'm filming this introduction. A little bit later we'll turn it back on and film. I also learned that if you can illustrate a sermon, uh, then that helps. Because uh, some of us are a little bit dense and it's hard to sink in. Okay? And I asked Nathan if he would help me this morning illustrate the gospel. And then I'll preach to you in just a minute. You know, the gospel, the word gospel means good news. And the Bible is filled with good news. Uh, Nathan's got a newspaper here. And uh, whenever you read the newspaper, you'll read some good news. But usually you'll also find some bad news. And in the gospel message, as much as it is good news, it's also bad news. And uh, there's some bad news in the Bible. And the bad news has to do with sin. And the Bible has a lot to say about sin. The Bible talks about the fact that all of us are sinners and have come short of the glory of God. Now, sin has a devastating effect in the life of an individual. When a person reaches the age of accountability and they begin to go against God's word and against God's will, sin comes in and it begins to tear their life apart. And sin destroys them. Uh, you know, it can be any kind of sin. There's all kinds of sin, and uh, some people are a little bit more uh, easily tempted in one area than another. But sin comes in and it just tears a life apart. It can tear up, up, up an individual life. Sin can mess up a family. Sin can tear up a church. Uh, sin is just a very devastating thing in the lives of people. And so the Bible talks about sin and its effect in the human life. Uh, and it just tears it up, just like Nathan's doing this newspaper. Uh, sin just rips us to, to pieces and really messes our life up. But the Bible also tells us about the remedy for sin. The Bible tells us that God loves us. God loves us so much that He sent His Son, Jesus, to die for us. And uh, that was the purpose of Jesus coming, was because of our sin. Now the Bible tells us that when Jesus died on the cross, He did so for my sin and He did for you did so for your sin. He died for the sin of the whole world. But when Jesus died for our sin, He gave us the responsibility of accepting or rejecting that sacrifice that He made. And when a person with his heart will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that he'll be saved. And the result of that salvation is that his life is totally changed. And all that Satan tried to do with sin and temptation to destroy us Jesus undoes all of that, and He puts that life that's been torn apart by sin, He puts it back together. And He gives us a new life in Jesus Christ. And that's the gospel, the good news of salvation in Jesus. Thank you, Nathan.